Let's go up to File and then Open Scene. And let's open up Anticipation.mb. Okay, so this principle of animation is all about the action before the main action. So if we want the ball to jump up onto this ledge, before it jumps up, it's first got to squash down. Just like somebody, when they're going to jump up onto something, first they bend their knees and kind of move their body down before they can spring up into the air. Same thing with the bouncing ball. So we're going to pretend the bouncing ball is alive and can move on its own. So let's jump right into the animation. Uh, make sure your auto keyframe toggle is turned on. And let's select the sphere right here, or I've named it as a dodgeball. If you hit W, you can see I've already moved the pivot point to the bottom of the ball so that when we do the squash and stretch, we don't need to move the pivot point. So let's go in and on frame one, I'm going to go over here to the channel box. I'm going to click next to translate X, drag down to translate Y, and I'm going to go right click and go to key selected. And then I'm going to go to frame eight, and I'm going to right click and go to key selected again. So from frame one to frame eight, I don't want any movement. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, from frame 8 to frame 18, what I want is I want the ball to squash down. So let's go back to frame 8 here, and I need to set a keyframe for scale X and scale Y. So I'm going to click on scale X, drag down to scale Y, right click, and go to key selected. Now I'll go to frame 18, and I'm going to hit R for my scale tool and I'm going to scale down along the Y axis and then scale out along the X axis. So here we have our squash. He's anticipating the jump into the air. So from 1 to 8 no movement and then from 8 from from frame 8 to 18 he squashes down. Alright, so now, let's see, we need to start the animation going up into the air. So, on frame 18 right here, I'm going to go to translate X and Y. I want to key this on frame 18, because all we did from 8 to 18 was we changed the scale X and Y. We haven't changed anything um, for translate X and Y, which means we want to set a keyframe here. And then we'll move our time slider forward to, let's say, frame 28. I'll hit W for my move tool. I'm going to move the ball up into the air and move it over. Okay, so I don't need to set a keyframe here at 28. And then I'll go to frame 32, and I'll bring this down onto the edge of this ledge. So your translate Y value should be 5 right here. All right, so, so we've got our squash from 8, from frame 8 to 18. Now, once it jumps up into the air, we need to stretch the dodgeball out. So from frame 18, we'll go one frame to 19. I'm going to hit R for my scale tool and I'm going to use the scale tool to scale up and in. Alright, so then at frame, let's say 22, I'm going to change everything. Scale X and scale Y, everything's going to go back to 1. All right. All right. So, what we have right now is we have our basic movement, we have our timing. What we need to go in now is adjust the spacing. So, I'm going to click on this button right here. It's going to give me my perspective view and my graph editor. I'm going to switch right here. So, I'm going to go to panels, 
orthographic and go to front and I'll hit 5 and I'm gonna click on translate Y and I'll go to view frame all and I'm gonna to start to adjust the translate Y graph right here so I'm gonna click um, right here at the apex of this jump frame 28 I want to go to flat tangents so I want it to I want to I want it to slow into the apex and slow out of the apex now on the on the last keyframe right here on 32 um, I'm gonna break the tangents here select the handle on the left hand side hit W for my move tool and then I'll hold down the middle mouse button and drag this up a little bit I'm gonna go to the frame the keyframe on frame 18 I'll select it break the tangent I'm gonna select the handle for this keyframe on the right hand side hold down the middle mouse button and push this handle up okay all right so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here and let's watch this okay so I'm gonna go to frame 28 and I'm going to just maybe move this keyframe so what I want to do is I don't want to move the position of the keyframe I want to change the translate Y value right here so I'm going to hit W for my move tool hold down the shift key on the keyboard hold down the middle mouse button and just drag this up a little bit and then I'll hit play and I think what I'm going to do now is change the timing on this so I'm going to go to translate X and translate Y click on translate X drag down to translate Y and I'm going to take keyframes from 32 to, and 28 for both translate X and Y I'm going to select these keyframes hit W for my move tool hold down the shift key and hold down my middle mouse button and drag these over two keyframes alright now let's see here I'm gonna hit play and see what I think I like that a little bit better select the ball here and I'm going to select the keyframe on frame 18 on the translate X graph and I'm going to go to flat tangents and then I'm going to go to the keyframe on frame 26 for the graph on translate X I'm going to select that and delete it all right so let's go let's see I'm gonna go to translate Y here and so the ball's gonna come down on frame 30 and make contact with the top of the ledge so then what I what I want to do is I want to key my scale X and Y I want to set a keyframe while scale X and Y is at a value of 1 so I'll right click go to key selected now I'll move to frame 32 on the time slider I'll hit R for my scale tool and I'll scale down along the Y axis and I'll scale out a little bit on the X axis and then at frame 34 I'll change both scale X and scale Y back to 1 okay alright so I'm gonna select the ball here and I think I want to change my translate X value here so I'm gonna just click on translate X 
I'm going to go to frame 30 and I'll hit W for my move tool, hold down the shift key on the keyboard, hold down the middle mouse button and I just want to drag this up to move it over slightly. Alright, now I'm going to hit play. Let's see what I think. Okay, so let's take a look at scale X and scale Y. I'm going to go to view, frame all. And basically what I want to do is here on the keyframes on 18, I want to slow into that point where it reaches the bottom of the squash. So I'm going to select these two keyframes here, break the tangents. Now I'm going to go back to the graph. I'll select the two handles for these keyframes on the left hand side and I'm going to go to flat tangents. Now I'm going to select the key the keys here and I'm going to just let's see I'll select each one of these individually and I'm just going to move these up a little bit. So select each of these handles move them up. Okay, so the only other thing I might do is I might see, I'll, I've selected the dodge ball over here in the graph editor. I've got all of my keys here. I'm going to go to view, frame all. And if we look from frame 8 to 18, this is our anticipation. And I'm thinking I might want a little bit more anticipation there. So what I can do is I can select everything from 18 on. So I've got all the keys selected. Now I'm going to hold down shift, hold down my middle mouse button, and click and drag to the right. And I'm going to drag over two frames. And now I'm going to watch the animation here. I like that more. Okay. So we just adjusted some of our timing for the squash or the anticipation before the jump. All right, so let's just look at this one more time. Okay, we're all done. Make sure that you save your work before you quit Maya.